so so much shit has happened this week. It's been just bananas. First of all, Assange as a mm-hmm. fellow journalist, like what I mean, I can't say a lot of us are surprised, but what is what's your first reaction? It is just kind of um Overall, it's disappointment. It's fear because I kind of feel like we all knew in the back of our, in the back of our minds that this day was coming, um, and we knew that the reaction, you know, by media and by politicians would largely be what it is now. But it's still, you know, to live through it, it it sucks because this could be the beginning of the end of press freedom. And I'm not implying that, you know, in a year from now, you know, journalists will be barred from. Um, publishing leaks that were obtained illegally. Um, But it's just, once you start going down a particular path, it's so difficult to reverse course. And in general, I feel so disappointed that more people aren't speaking out. Um, Love Bernie Sanders to death, but I really wish that he would speak out about this because even if obviously people hate Julian Assange, especially in the Democratic Party, and he already has to deal with smears and whatnot, it would be nice to just have him communicate why this is important and why this isn't really even about julian assange this is more about press freedom you know so it's it's disappointing i like that everyone in indie media is pretty much united on this front because we kind of have a stake in the game you know we have a horse in this race so we want to make sure that we protect these press freedoms not that i've ever published anything that's illegal but i i I think that if information is in the public's interest we've got to protect journalist ability to publish that without worrying about prosecution you know so think about with the snowden leaks which is incredibly important what if glenn greenwald was prosecuted for publishing that you know so it's it's bigger than julian assange you don't have to like julian assange i know many liberals hate him but it's not about julian assange this is about press freedom and you know if you kind of just go back a couple of decades with the patriot act all of our freedoms are slowly but surely being eroded and i made the analogy i think in my julian assange video that the reason why we're all not freaking out is because it's happening so gradually so subtly that it's hard to you know realize what's going on it's like if you throw a frog in a pot of boiling water it's going to jump out but if you put a frog in a pot of water and then you gradually turn up the heat he's going to be able to adjust to that and that's what's happening to us right now you know our freedoms are being taken away from us little by little but because it's not super substantial You know, it's easy to kind of become complacent. It's easy to be distracted by Netflix and video games. But really, this is significant. This is, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, be hyperbolic, but this is authoritarianism. It's not like we are an authoritarian regime, but, you know, democracies don't last forever. They certainly don't. Every single democracy in the world dies at some point. That's what empirically has happened. And I don't want that to be the start now. You know, it's still early enough to where we can act, where we can take action. So, uh, you know, that's, that's my feelings, just overall disappointment, but not, not shocked. Right. Absolutely. I, I think like at this point, if Bernie came out, it would just be bad. Like at this point, he's waited so long that I think coming out would just be a mistake. And I think, um, you know, part of me is kind of glad he didn't simply because if he did, it would be all about Hillary, Trump, um, Bernie, and the Russians, and all this stuff. And people would have lost focus of what is really happening. Um, mm-hmm. It would have became like a, a tabloid thing, and people would have, you know, forgotten the true tragedy that's actually happening right now. Um, I I totally agree with that. Um, it's basically a political decision. And that's, that is on my mind. Like, I realize that, um, you know, he knows that he's just opening a can of worms. Um, but the other part of me, the reason why I think overall I wish he would speak up, even if it's, you know, later, is because Bernie Sanders is someone who's very influential. And he never before, like, he never played politics, which I think made him so appealing, you know? And that's why a lot of these quote unquote scandals don't stick to him. Same like Trump, because, you know, they're constantly just sh- shooting from the hip and saying what they believe in. Donald Trump may believe in nonsense, but I mean, 
in terms of just that personality of saying what's on your mind, I think that's a characteristic that I liked about Bernie. But I think that you do bring up a completely valid point. If Bernie Sanders farted, it would be national news, you know, because they're looking for everything. And I said this in my video about his tax returns, that they're just going to move on from this once they find something new. So expect them to dwell on the tax returns returns and the millionaire thing for like a month or so. But if they see something else, they're going to jump ship and talk about that. So um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a tough situation, but overall I'm going to be in the camp of speak out, um, because, you know, it, it, this is too important. It goes beyond politics in my view, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I, um, I'm just kind of scanning the, the, uh, the comments and yeah, I mean, I, I absolutely think Assange is a hero as, as someone who marched at Occupy DNC, like as someone, you know, so many of us were, were so, you know, just horrified by all the cheating going on. And we finally got those receipts. What we yeah. were, you know, nobody believed us. And finally we had those receipts. Granted, it became like who, you know, who, released the emails instead of what they said and the fact that they've never yeah. been denied um but we actually had that tangible proof um and it was like vindication in a lot of ways yeah it was in it was information in the public interest and i'm willing to concede that you know when julian assange was talking with don jr and whatnot like it is unfair, right, that there was this imbalance of information because had he released the RNC emails, it obviously would have unveiled that they were trying to tip the scales against Donald Trump. Now, it probably wouldn't have mattered because he won, you know, so those feelings wouldn't be as, you know, um, as problematic. But I mean, at the same time, that information still is important. What we saw um, transpire was confirmed by those emails. It didn't um, it wasn't news to a lot of us who were paying attention, but nonetheless, it still did, like you said, give us the receipts. But I think even more important than the DNC emails is the war crimes that Chelsea Manning had exposed that WikiLeaks published. That was huge. That was so huge. And that's exactly why these types of laws that protect press freedom are in place, because we have to know what our government is doing. We need to know when they're abusing power, when they're committing murder, because those are our tax dollars. We're their bosses. So we need to make sure that we can hold them accountable. And we can't do that with no information. So, you know, there's there's a lot. I, I, I'm In terms of like Julian Assange, he's fell out of favor, in my view, just personality wise with him thinking that, you know, Trump would be better long term. And I, I hate that I disagree unequivocally, but at the same time, him being a journalist and publishing information, you know, that that's important. If it's not, again, it's not about the personality in my view. It's just about, you know, the public utility, the importance of information. I'm always about voters having as much information as possible before they go into the voting booth because you can't really make you know, a good decision with incomplete information. You need to be able to to make a very well-informed decision. And he did help with that process, even if people don't like the way that those emails were obtained. Um, it still, I think, mattered.